Hi. We haven't done one of these videos uh, since Athens when we were totally overwhelmed by how ridiculously good the food was and we wanted to remember it. And so when we knew we were coming to Cape Town, we thought we might be eating and drinking pretty well. So we started filming uh, our favorite places. I'm Steph. And I'm Pete. And that's our two-year-old son, Hayes. We were selected by Airbnb to travel the world for a year, calling a new destination home for a month at a time. Follow along. So this video is shot over the course of one month and it's all of the things that we liked eating and drinking while in Cape Town. It's not totally exhaustive, some we forgot and some didn't quite make the cut, uh, but there's a good handful of places in here so if you're coming to Cape Town or you just want to see what we ate and drank over the last month, stay tuned. It's my birthday. We've been in Cape Town for almost 24 hours uh, and our Airbnb host recommended this spot for a nice brunch. It's in, I think, an old nursery and antique house on Kloof Street and we're just gonna go have a nice little birthday brunch. You ready for this egg? Let's go down for the egg. Look at that. I got the creamy chicken livers on toast with a poached egg. Um, chicken livers are on a menu. I'm probably ordering them. Delicious. Didn't know that this was a thing, like creamy chicken livers on toast with an egg. <laughs> loves chicken livers as much as me. It's great. Got to add that we're feeling a little rough from our travel day yesterday. Um, so this is exactly what we uh, we needed after that. I got the poached haddock with a creamy like hollandaise type sauce. Some bread. I mean this is, I've just had one bite and it was amazing. So very, very, very good. Beautiful haddock. I needed that so badly now feeling so much better and ready to take on Cape Town. at Timbuktu in the Abs neighborhood. It's an Ethiopian restaurant. It is still my birthday and Ethiopian is one of my favorite foods and I've never eaten it this close to Ethiopia. Um, so we just ordered some mixed vegetables and lamb tips and hopefully Hayes is gonna enjoy it as well. Oh, and I'm having um, my first glass of South African white wine. It's a Sauvignon Blanc and the best part is it was less than $3. as the uh, one of the world's best coffee shops. Here we go. I got a flat white, by the way. It's good. I don't really know that much about coffee, so I don't really think I can add much. Where are we? Um, Truth Coffee Shop. Coffee. Coffee place. Okay, the truth is. It's, it's a good cup of coffee. It's good. Not the best. I still would like a need loves from Chattanooga cappuccino. Also, this place is steampunk themed, and it's like one of several places in Cape Town that I've heard described as steampunk, which is obviously a word I've heard, but I did just have to look it up and I learned that it refers to like 19th century science fiction and technology. Um, it's a theme that I guess they love here that I haven't seen as a theme elsewhere. So if you're into steampunk, come to Cape Town. I also don't know anything about coffee, but I didn't expect my cold brew to come in this tiny 
tiny bottle. Tastes like cold brew. Kalki's. It's a famous fish and chip shop in Cult Bay. Uh, we saw it on a bunch of blogs and also on Somebody Eats Phil on the Netflix show. Somebody Feeds Phil. Somebody... No, Somebody Feeds Phil. Some... The Netflix show. The Netflix show, Somebody Feeds... Somebody Feed Phil, I guess it's got... I can't remember, it's cool. Anyway, it looks great and uh, awesome atmosphere. We're sat outside here waiting for our... Waiting for our fish and chips. Okay, we ordered one Snook and Chips, one Hake and Chips, and we seem to make a rookie mistake. I started unwrapping them, and I thought the one I unwrapped, I was like, oh, they put it together. But that was just one portion. So we've got way too much food. Uh, we'll let you know how it is. And some fish. Um, yeah. mm. This is really good. I think I, I think I'm eating the hake. Um, I love hake, and it's delicious. Really nice, light batter actually. Really, really light batter. Um, fish is nice and juicy. How does it compare to Cornish fish and chips? This could be a not fun experience taking a Cornish person to eat fish and chips outside of Cornwall. Different because the batter is less is less thick. Um, but I'm here for it, it's good. It's very, very nice. It tastes very fresh, which is what you want in fish and chips. So we just ate at Max Bagels, which is just behind me, and I was torn on whether or not to include this. If you go expecting if you go expecting a bagel, you might be a little bit disappointed. If it's a Sunday morning and you want a reasonably priced uh, breakfast sandwich, it's a good spot. What do you think, Hayes? What's your review? Bagel wise, I would put it in the category of bread shaped like a bagel. But the sandwiches are good. Ocean Jewels Fresh Fish, which is in the Woodstock Exchange, um, and it's what our Airbnb host said is his favorite lunch in Cape Town. It's a small little fresh fish shop with a tiny menu of what is fresh that day, um, and we're having calamari and angelfish, and it looks delicious. They also do a big um, delivery business, so we're definitely going to get some fish to cook at home while we're here in Cape Town. And we're really lucky because they only reopened uh, a few weeks ago after all the COVID lockdowns. I got the angel, angel fish, first time I've ever, oh, I've ever had this. Uh, the lady said it was really similar to hake, um, and it just sort of grilled it. It's with some light seasoning on it. Really delicious, super tender. It's been really well cooked and just delicious flavor. Really like it. Big fan. Also, calamari salad and wedges, angelfish salad and wedges, and two sparkling waters was 210 rand, so about $14. <coughs> It's windy, so we didn't film outside, but that's our local brewery. We've been there twice. Really good beers. What's local, our local brewery called? Local. It's only open Fridays and Saturdays. It's that cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's really windy. That's why my hat is backwards. And I lost my sunglasses in the street and they busted. Well, no, I think they're okay. I, I bought these actually on the beach, funny enough. They're Ray-Bans. They only cost me about under 10 bucks, good deal. If you enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe to our channel. We 
are at Faiza's Home Kitchen in the Bukap neighborhood. It's the place to go to taste home-cooked Cape Malay food uh, in this neighborhood. And we can't wait. We ordered uh, boboti, which I'm not totally sure what it is yet, but we'll show you. As well as a curry, and we have some samosas and chili bite. Samosas. Dipping in this like, it's like a sweet chili sauce. Mints, some herbs and spices. Freshly fried. Delicious. Hayes is enjoying. What are you eating, Hayes? A chili bite. Oh. I just tasted that chili bite. It's kind of like a pakora. Really mm. nice. The spices are good. Is it you enjoying that? My samosa. It was there. It was so good. <laughs> Me too. So good. And he loved the chili bite. Ch oh! <laughs> yeah, he ate it. Okay. All right, we got the chicken curry, which has some tim uh, some potato in it and some other delicious stuff. Really, really under chicken. Super tender. Love the spices. Great flavor. Not too spicy. Just a nice, nice flavor to it. Um, and then we also got this, the... Uh, the Bobo tea. Bobo tea, um, which has kind of got minced meat and spinach in a... Spinach? Yeah, I think there's spinach inside it, right? I don't think so. No, okay, maybe no spinach inside it. Well, there's something maybe green in it, but anyway, it's... Um, it's good, it's like a... Like a, um, a it's got like an egg topping. Egg flan type topping to it. Um, again, with some spices and some onions and uh, the mincemeat, not too spicy, very, very delicious. And actually quite light, even though it doesn't maybe look that light, it's quite light. And what's really nice is Hayes is having one of those days where he tries everything, which is not necessarily the norm. Also, these guys um, do a cooking, they have a cooking school. We unfortunately don't have time to do that today, but if you're here in Cape Town, go and check it out because the food is amazing. We are at Stelsky's, our nearest coffee shop, and we're having breakfast. I ordered some carrot cake, which is excellent. <laughs> Stephanie is enjoying the trout omelette. The coffee is delicious. I ring the orange bacon. I ring the orange bacon. Long Street. It's an Ethiopian restaurant. We've eaten at uh, Timbuktu Cafe in Abs two times now. This is uh, our, we leave Cape Town in a few days, so we just made it to this one, our third time eating Ethiopian while we've been here because we love it so much. Um, and it's a really cool restaurant. The food was similar to, uh, what did I say, Timbuktu Cafe? Um, but the restaurant is really cool. It's just like full of books and tchotchkes and animals and guns and painting it's just really full um but you sit and have your ethiopian and it's really lovely and it's in the center of town today is actually first thursday so all the galleries are open so um before we ate we just did some gallery hopping had a few drinks and then had dinner and now we're headed home up some falafel from Nishnush, which is a falafel place on Bree Street, owned by um, the guy from Haifa who I met, and it is, it's really good. Mm. What do you think? Mm. I'm really hungry, but it's also really, really good. The falafel was fried fresh, the pitas are fluffy, there's some nice jug, jug, is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, pickles are good. Nishnish. We just 
had a couple drinks at a place called the Gin Bar, which is in the back of Honest Chocolate Shop. Our Airbnb host recommended it. Our walking tour guide recommended it. It's pretty cool. You walk through an awesome chocolate shop. We had really good brownies as well. Um, and in the back, there's this whole like specialty gin bar. Great stuff. in Cape Town, we fly out this afternoon and we're just down the road at Superette, which is another place that our Airbnb host recommended and he's only recommended great places. We tried to come here, I think it was a Sunday and they weren't open. Um, so we're sneaking it in at the very last minute and I'm glad we did because this is like my ideal breakfast. I have a big piece of sourdough rye toast with avocado, pesto, mushrooms, poached eggs, arugula, um, and it is delicious. I got a savory waffle with um, goat's cheese in the batter, bacon, spinach, a couple of poached eggs. It is delicious. Thanks again, Nick, our Airbnb host. We recommended some amazing places here in Cape Town.